Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, hello. So, here we are again, Monday. So, time for this week's Embodied Feminine Self Care Practice of the Week. So first, it was so amazing last night to be in virtual sisterhood temple space with so many of you. We had like 60 women on the New Moon live practice yesterday and it was, yeah, like a mix of juicy and really connecting and just so, so sweet to be with so many sisters from like literally all around the world. Like, it was incredible. So for those of you who were here last night for the practice, or I guess it was last night for me yesterday, for you, wherever you were in the world, uh, just thank you so, so much for joining. It's always such a pleasure to be with you. And if you are still considering to sign up for the Jade Egg Initiation online course, if you watch the replay of the live call from yesterday, uh, there's a coupon code at the end that I throw in there for you, and it's only good for another, let's see, like seven hours or so, so get on it if you're feeling to join us. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into the practice of this week. So this week is, uh, I was actually guiding my weekly Yoni Hour class in the Jade Temple here in Koh Phangan, where I live in Thailand. And uh, this practice just kind of came through. Um, so I wanted to share it with you. It, it doesn't necessarily have a name, but it's a really sweet blend of breathing with the yoni and connecting with the earth and pulsing the yoni. By pulse, you're gonna hear me say that, this is what I mean. Different from like a squeeze, which is like this. A pulse is like, it gets the juices flowing, it gets the energy flowing, it gets the blood flowing, the hormones flowing, okay? So it's bringing in the yoni pulsing, the breathing, connection with the earth, and then we do a little bit of shaking. And that's it. Simple, simple. So I'm going to set my timer, because I do try to keep these uh, practices to... Uh, five minutes, although they always end up going another minute or two over. Um, and I'm actually going to adjust my screen a little bit so that you can see my body. Okay. So, let us begin. So we're going to begin with the feet connected. Your feet are connected and your legs are in the butterfly position. And bring your hands over your womb, or it can actually be nice to have one cupped over the outside of your yoni, the other over your womb, or the energy of your womb. Letting your eyes close if that feels okay for you. And just taking a moment to first soften your yoni. So really let her soften right into your hands, releasing any kind of tension. taking a couple of deep breaths into her and as you inhale into your yoni and into your womb space really feeling the yoni in the womb expand into your hands and then as you exhale there's this opportunity to soften her to relax her and a few more breaths like this, inhaling directly into your hands, letting your breath expand your yoni, letting your breath bring oxygen and blood flow, energy flow into the yoni. And then exhale, even making a sound and releasing. Two more like this, deep breath. softening. It's like there's a melting inward and downwards with the exhale. And again. Ah. And now just bringing both of your hands over your womb or the energy of the womb and imagining that you're sitting directly on the earth. And if you actually can be sitting directly on the earth, it's amazing to do this practice like that. 
just imagining it if you're not there. And imagining your yoni and like softening and opening down towards the earth. Almost like she's opening to receive the wisdom and the blessings and the life force, the juiciness, the aliveness of the earth. Just seeing if you can soften your yoni one more layer down into the earth. So we're just taking layers and layers of physical, emotional, energetic tension or holding or blocking that might be there and giving them a chance to release. And now from here, we're going to work with that pulsing. So again, the pulsing is like this. It's not just like a squeeze and release. So this is with the yoni, so just beginning to pulse your yoni in and out and in and out. Almost like your yoni is like drinking up the energy from the earth, taking it, receiving it, relishing it, pulsing your yoni in and out and in and out and in and out. You can even move the spine and the body a little bit to facilitate this, to support you. And then pulse and squeeze and hold your breath, hold the squeeze. Relax your whole body except for your yoni. Feel all the energy going down into her. And then totally relaxing your yoni, letting your belly get round and soft. And we'll do this one more time. So pulsing the yoni, pulsing, pulsing, drinking up the energy from the earth. Keeping your full attention, your love, your presence inside of your yoni. So you might notice that you can do this with your attention really on her and it adds so much to the practice. Or you can do it kind of mechanically, which also, you know, there's some benefits to it, but it's much, much stronger with your full loving presence in the yoni. So pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Now pulse and squeeze and hold. Hold the breath, hold the squeeze. Soften the face, the eyes, the throat, the shoulders, the heart, the belly. Still squeezing the yoni. And then exhale. And releasing. And now bringing your hands behind you for support. And now just allowing your legs to kind of have a little bit of a bounce or a shake in them. And maybe closing your eyes and just imagining that this shaking, this pulsing, this bouncing is, it's really happening all on its own as you continue to soften your yoni, breathe into her. I'll be here for about a minute or so. This practice, especially when done with deep breathing, especially when keeping the yoni relaxed is amazing for, for clearing and cleansing the whole pelvic area, cleansing emotion, cleansing energies, cleansing even physical tension and holding. that the shaking wants to come up into the rest of the body. You can allow that if that feels like it's organically coming. beauties and then we're just going to take a moment to rest so have your hands behind you and let your legs be straight your feet apart in front of you and just take a moment with your eyes closed 
to tune in with and feel the sensations that are present in your pelvis right now, in your hips, your yoni. So, if you're doing this practice on your own at home, it actually can be nice to have a couple of minutes to just be in that relaxation pose with your hands behind you supporting you, because even though we only did those practices for a couple of minutes, it can actually like stir a lot up, so it's really beautiful to give yourself a couple of minutes to just soften and relax and to really feel the sensations in the body, feel that felt sense, and that's what's so healing and so restorative and so connecting when you're just tuning into those moment-to-moment -moment sensations that are there inside of the yoni. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Embodied Feminine Self-Care Practice of the Week. If you are wanting to get down with a whole lot more of those and then some, Think about joining us in the Jade Egg Initiation online course. We're going to be starting this week. We'll have the official call welcome this week, our first live practice. There are already many amazing women from all around the world who are joining. And one of the things that I keep hearing is like, oh my God, like, I don't know what it is, but I'm just called so freaking deeply to this work right now. So. If that's what you're feeling and there's any sort of resistances or hesitations or anything like that there, reach out, send me a message, voice what's there. I'm super, super happy to hear you and hold you and listen to you and potentially work with you and see if this is actually the right time for you or not. So again, like I said in the beginning, if you're considering to join the course, there is a coupon code in the new moon ritual that I gave last night. I share it at the end just as we are wrapping up the practice and moving into a little bit of sharing with the group. So get on that. It's there for about another uh, eight hours or so. Okay, wishing you such a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and I'm sending you such a big hug and really know that even by just doing these couple of minutes of embodied feminine self-care practices that I share in here every Monday, you are doing so freaking much for yourself, for your body, for your sexuality, for your sensuality, and it goes way beyond that for the next generation, for all of the women in your life who you'll be eventually telling about this work because it's just too damn powerful and amazing and juicy not to share. So keep it up, beauties. Try to find a little bit of space to do this at least several times this week. And drop a note in the comments. Let us know how this was. I so, so love to hear uh, what resonates with you and what doesn't. Love you. Mwah.